you are going to learn how to convert this full app Figma design into a Flutter code. And guess what? You are not going to write the code by yourself. Let me show you the final result. As you can see how perfectly it aligns with the design. Just check out the splash screen, sign in, sign up, and home page. Everything is super clean and we got all done in just few minutes. Simply open up your browser and type in device.com. You'll also find the link right in the description below. The awesome tool can turn your design into Flutter code. The very first thing you have got to do is set up an account. And guess what? It's totally free. So let's dive in. Once you are done, it looks like this. To import the Figma design, click on Create Blank App. Then for the platform, choose Mobile. Then name your app. I'm going to call our the Flutter Voice Food app. Next, select Flutter as the technology and Figma as the design platform. The final step we have is to connect our Figma account to device. Next, let's go back to Figma and copy the link of the design. Then paste it here. As you can see, it displays all the pages. I want to use all the pages, so I'll choose select all screens and then hit submit. This action will import the design. Also, you have the option here to change the app's package name and the bundle ID. That's not all. You can also upload the app logo directly from here. You can even choose the state management package like blog, provider, and riverport. Plus, it offers integration with GitHub or GitLab. I think their best feature is to code sync with the IDE. I'll show you the details of this feature later. Let's check out other screens as well. The sign-in page looks perfect, especially the text field, and it even added the social login buttons perfectly. The sign-up page is also accurately converted. The home page was a bit complex, but it did a great job. It converted the design exactly as we have it. The best part is managed to figure out the bottom navigation wheel and created it as we have in our design. As you can see, it's a bottom navigation but not a custom wizard. It also did wonderfully on the details page. Search page. Order page. And finally the account settings page. It converted all those perfectly. To preview, click on the preview button. You can see the switch is functioning flawlessly. The text field on the sign up page is also working as anticipated and everything on the home page looks superb. Now let's download the code. To do this, we need to build an app. It will ask which state management package you would like to use. They offer all well-known packages, but for this demonstration, I choose not to use any. Building does take a bit of time, and as it's doing so, you can see the app architecture. There is an access directory, and inside the lib directory, everything is well organized. Once it's finished building, you have the option to either download or sync the code. We'll download the code first, and later I'll walk you through how to sync it. Let's open the downloaded code in VS Code. Tab get to import the necessary packages. Next, let's try running the app, but as you'll notice, it doesn't run and throw an error. The quickest fix is to delete the iOS directory and regenerate it by running the plotter create platform iOS command if you have made any modification to the iOS director, make sure not to remove it. Try running it again and you'll see it runs perfectly. The walkthrough screen displays, but there is a significant black border at the top and bottom. To fix this, return to walkthrough screen and remove the save area at top. Then wrap the container with save area and it looks perfect. Actually, all pages have the same problem and the solution is identical. Remove the top safe area and wrap it on the body wizard. On the sign up page, the password field is hidden and everything else is functioning properly. Now let's take a look at our home page. It looks superb. However, there are a couple of issues here and there. The search and order page are looking good and there's a mirror bug on account page. Still, I'm quite impressed with how well it has converted this complex design. Firstly, let's address the black border on the home page. 
Go back to the home page container screen and remove the save area widget at the top. Then wrap the navigator widget with save area. This solved the issue and it looks perfect now. As you can observe, the search and order page are now aligned accurately with our design and look much improved. Now tackle those bugs on home page, navigate back to home page to third. Let's search for the text. There we have it. I don't think we need the padding. Remove the padding. Now to align the text to the right side, add a spacer. That resolves the issue. Now on to the next one. Let's sort this out as well. I appreciate that they have created a separate component for this. You'll find it under the wizard directory as home page item wizard. Scroll down, we can see where the problem arises. I believe we can do without the merging. Let's check. Yep, that does it. We have nearly resolved all the issues. And if any more pop up, you already know how to tackle them. Device doesn't just convert your design to code, it also offers some awesome features. One of those is API integration. I'm really fond of the code sync feature. Let me demonstrate how straightforward it is to sync the code to your preferred IDE. Ensure you have copied the token. Then return to BS Code. In extension, search for device and install the pack. You'll see the device icon on sidebar. First, let's open a directory where you want to store the code. Next, click on Sync Code. It will ask if you'd like to use the chosen folder for the code. Select Yes. Now you need to paste the token here. It will take a moment to download the code and voila, we are done. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon in the another video.